you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. When I was a young boy, I enjoyed reading the stories, short stories, of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the famous Sherlock Holmes short stories. It was about this detective Sherlock Holmes and his not equally intelligent, but nonetheless loyal and brave assistant, Dr. Watson. I start with that because I want to borrow from the skills of a great detective, a childhood hero, to approach the gospel passage that we have today. The scribes who were experts of the law and the scriptures were always against Jesus if we go through the Gospels. They wanted to persecute Jesus. They wanted to arrest Jesus. So how is it now that the scribes were telling people Jesus is the son of David. The title son of David will be most likely associated with the Messiah. Bakit bigla na lang yung mga scribes pinupuri nila ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Ha? But Jesus had detective eyes and exposed what they were trying to do. When your persecutors, when your enemies suddenly began to praise you, tatanungin mo, ano bang niluluto nila? The scribes were actually saying, there will be in scriptures the rise of a new leader, the Messiah, the son of David. And they were warning the conquerors, the oppressors, the Roman Empire, the Roman soldiers. My Messiahs, my anak ni David, my bagong leader. So without telling exactly what they intended, they were actually saying, Arrest him. He will be a threat to you. He will be the great leader. He is the son of David. Jesus, with his detective eyes and ears, refuted them cleverly by saying, E kung anak ti David, yung magiging political leader, Bakit tinawag ni David na Lord ang kanyang anak? Ibig sabihin, ang magiging leader ay hindi anak ni David o problematic ang inyong argument. And the people who were following Jesus were delighted because Jesus cleverly went around the evil intention of the scribes to have him arrested. But Jesus did not stop there. After refuting or challenging the logic and argument of the scribes, he went from being a detective into what he truly was, a holy priest, a good king, a magnificent prophet. At pinagpatuloy niya ang kanyang turo simula sa kanyang sinabing, hindi ako yung next political leader. Not the son of David that you are intending to paint. I would rather be the Savior who will remind people, forgive your enemies. Love God above all else. Pray for your persecutors. Go back 
to human dignity. Respect and protect human dignity. So Jesus was not just clever. He transitioned to being a priest, prophet, king sent by the Father. So dear brothers and sisters, as we will read time and again the words of Jesus, let his words coming from his heart sink into our own hearts. We are adopted children of God. We belong to the Father. We were sent to love, to forgive, and above all, to uphold human dignity as belonging to God. Kapag hindi natin nakalimutan ang turo ng Diyos sa atin, we will not just aspire for what the world can give. We would rather aspire to be pleasing in the eyes of the Father.